I'm always looking at ways to make my life easier and less stressful. Decluttering and organizing my home is a tangible action I can do that improves my life. When my space is cluttered, I feel overwhelmed and anxious by all of my things. I'm easily distracted by the constant visual noise surrounding me, and I waste time and energy trying to locate things. I spend a lot of time at home. I want to create a peaceful environment. When my home is clutter-free and organized, I'm calm, more focused, and far more productive. I apply these decluttering and organizational tips to all areas of my life, like my phone, bills, clothing, electronics, holiday decor, and hobbies. It's amazing how much more efficient my life runs when I declutter and organize the things in my life. Before I can organize, I first need to declutter the items that I don't need I start small and focus on one area at a time. Trying to declutter and organize my entire home all at once is pretty much near impossible and very overwhelming, which can lead me to give up easily. Instead, I start with one small area, such as a closet, a drawer, or a cupboard, and I work my way through each small space until the larger space is complete. I get rid of the items that I don't use. I go through my possessions and ask myself if I really need each of these things. If I haven't used it in the past year, which is plenty of time for seasons to change, or if it doesn't bring me joy, I consider getting rid of it. I realize that the less stuff I own, the easier it is to organize. The organization begins with awareness of the things that work for me and the flow of my life. First, I create a storage plan. Once I've decluttered, it's important to have a plan of where to put everything. I observe the natural patterns of everyone in the house, and I try to organize in a way that works with our natural flow. Having a place for the mail near the door in the kitchen works well for me when I'm bringing it in from the mailbox. I give everything a home. Only if absolutely needed, I will invest in storage bins, baskets, and other organizational tools to help keep my space tidy. Choosing the best option for function. It's the functionality of how I organize that simplifies my life. I separate my papers into three piles, trash, important papers, and papers I want to keep a record of. The only papers I keep are the ones I need hard copies of, and I file them neatly where everything is labeled. Labeling storage bins and other organizational tools helps me and the rest of my family stay organized and it makes it easy for me to find what I'm looking for.
I scan the papers I don't need copies of, but would want for future reference, like medical bills. This system works the best for me to stay organized with my papers and eliminates mountains of papers hanging around the house. I use all spaces possible to hide possessions, therefore eliminating visual clutter. I've lived in small spaces before and it's amazing where you can hide things. Under the bed is a great resource to hide blankets, pillows, or even out of season clothes. Don't forget to utilize the space on walls and the backs of doors. I use shelves, install hooks, and I love using over-the-door organizers to make the most of every space. I keep like items together, group similar items together to make it easier to find what I need. For example, I keep all of the cleaning supplies in one cleaning bucket. That way, I can bring it around the house when I'm cleaning. The key to organization is maintenance. Staying organized is easier when I make a habit of putting things away as soon as I'm done using them. This will help prevent clutter from accumulating around the house and keeps my space looking tidy and clean. I hope you enjoyed these decluttering and organizational tips. If you did, please consider subscribing for more mindful living. Have a beautiful day, my friends.